Thank you for telling us about your experience. And let's continue with Joao Pinto Machado. He is a co-founder responsible of the NE division of Cisarvans since 2012. He can see and produces young writers on site. We have him here. Joao, you have the floor. And you have 10 minutes. Thanks so much. Well, first of all, good afternoon. I'm sorry because I cannot speak as fast as my colleagues, and I have a Portuguese Spanish mixed accent. So I'd like to thank the conference for inviting me and for giving me the opportunity to let you know who we are and what we do. I wanted to concentrate on climate action, which is quite general, but mainly on what we can do today without a problem with technology. Robust technologies very performing to contribute to that climate work with sustainability in transport. So, CIS Advance is a company based or located in, Opo in Porto. We were founded 22 years ago. I'm the oldest guy in the company, and we are all very proud to have a very young team and we're concentrated in what we do, and we do it well. And we are going to present the tech portfolio we have available for renewable gas. Well, we have reference projects. And nowadays, more than 4,000 systems are present in our technology, and we're based in the PSA system, so pressure, swinger source, chemical absorption. And we have more than 4,000 systems installed in more than 50 countries in the world, some of them 15 years ago, one of them in the Himalayan peak, the last oxygen point available. We have a structure set up in North America, which is a vision of our perception the market. We try to be set up in as many places as we can. And we have a team of 80 people in the company, 10 of them in North America, highly concentrated in four different departments. R&D and deliverables for the development team and all products are well standardized. We have very robust technologies and very standardized. And with the support of engineering we also have a big, a big design team and the production capability is not exhausted because we have resources to increase our capabilities and high demand in Europe and North America. And we have an operational service to carry out projects, facilities and service for clients, which is our main focus. And today we're here to present our tech portfolio based on renewable gas. Some reference projects are here, and the topic is mobility, sustainable mobility. So these are projects that we show nowadays, dedicated exclusively for this topic, even though, as we know, most of our plants, if possible, we have two possibilities, the network injection, then another distribution channel, that could be GNC or GNL. So the first plant in Portugal is ours in 2015, and the second most recent one is also ours. But since 2015, we went to California and we were the first ones to inject biomethane network with the most strict specification at the time. It's something called Rule 30, and thus 2,000 ppm of oxygen, a big challenge. And next door, we have 
a filling station for um, trucks and buses with biomethane and on the fleet in low California in Baja California all the trucks there are fed up by your biomethane in North Sweden not far from the Arctic Polar Circle we had a lot of technology inside a small building in Doha with less than 40 degrees temperature only for buses in the city of Bowdoin and below our modular system allows us to treat many different models and options with 250, 360, 500, 700 cubic meters per hour. We also worked in France, Turkey, Latvia, Lithuania, and in Spain. And with low energy consumption, and we do have normal digestion biogas. We typically deliver a collection of methane higher than 99.5. Or 99.7 in a single stage. Other projects that may be of interest are the following. In the USA we began working with our team in the USA and from July to November we had two projects for the same client and that client has seven other projects with us and that's what I wanted to speak about. These are robust technologies with performances more than proven in the market and that means that customers come back to us yesterday we had a meeting with a French customer with whom we have two plants and four more being built in the USA that client with two plants right now has nine in Latvia two clients six projects and that's the fact that I want to communicate regarding our performance last plant belongs to a client with five projects where we treat a poultry manure that is terrible, very polluted gas, and we still manage to deliver. So what's the interesting bit here? Well, in a complex market, we, due to the Russian conflict and the scarcity of natural gas, this customer has their production, they're going to keep their engines, they're manufacturing GNC, GNL in the injector network and in the spot market they have fun acquiring certain elements. Finally, a patent technology for landfill biogas. This plant is installed in Granada, Spain, and that's an important challenge. The second one we have in landfill, the first one was set up in Paris in 2017, and also in Paris we have the first network injection with non-cryogenic technology. We respect our competitors, and we did have, I mean, th there was some other cryogenic plant. I'm reaching the end, and here we have a water treatment plant. We have great experience here. And there, we filter biogas, we purify biogas and biomethane to fuel buses. And produces biomethane for buses in Lisbon. And, and there we have a biogas upgrading unit. And next to a methanation plant. And here we have a quick description of the project and the upgrading of the biogas. From there we get bio CO2. We get to react with the green hydrogen from a PV plant 
and then we have methanation and we deliver synthetic methane. And here we have a feature perspective. The hydrogen purification is quite complex. This is a syngas that is quite complex with argon heart separate where we managed to deliver hydrogen with at least 99.95% and if it was enough we have yet another step with the catalytic elements and we purify it with biofuel degree. This is in Madrid and this is a small cube in the chemical complex of SLM but very important for us and for the industry and we get green hydrogen from PV panels through a photoelectrolyzer we get that gas that has 94% purity and we purify it at 99.999% and to finish as I was saying here is our tech portfolio and at the end we have a pipeline that could be physical or virtual with certificates of origin anywhere in the world that may fill up a truck remotely or locally with either biomethane or synthetic methane and I'd like to thank you all for your attention and also for inviting me. Thanks so much.